Hey guys, so I'm at my typical um, Thursday afternoon eat lunch in the car situation and uh, I'm doing my final touch-ups before I move on to my next job which include lipstick and making sure that I get the broccoli out of my teeth. I don't know what I was thinking this morning when I actually packed broccoli. I mean I like broccoli. I love buttered broccoli. And I'm not sure what I was thinking because there was actually a day, I think I've mentioned this before, where I walked around with a piece of broccoli stuck square in the center of my teeth. Nobody told me. And so now I like have this like perpetual fear that that's what I'm going to experience at some point is broccoli in my teeth again. So I've been flossing like a fiend. Um, anyway, so I'm just kind of touching up my makeup, which of course includes um, adding some more foundation to my nose because I've had to blow my nose a number of times today. I'm using by Bobbi Brown. She's got this little miniature foundation stick and I literally just like put it on my nose. Like I just go completely crazy on my nose. Oh, you know what I got though? Um, I got, you know, Sephora, I was talking about the um, the 50, the Pro, Sephora Pro 55 brush. They have a mini. Look how cute that is. I use this for everything. It's the only brush I carry around. It blends in my cream little foundations. It blends in concealer. I have a, I carry a blush with me because I'm constantly wiping off the blush as well. Um, and so it just works. It just works. <laughs> it works for everything. It also blots your oil really nicely. This is like a phenomenal brush. They were genius when they decided that they were going to, you know, release it in a halfy. Basically, it's a halfy. Um, you can see it's cold outside today, so I've got like all of my winter gear. I'm wearing um, my scarf still. I ate lunch with my scarf on because I was using it as a bib. Yes, because I don't wear light clothing. First of all, I told you I lost, which I am though today, and I'm like perpetually afraid now that I'm going to wear, I, I do, I wear stuff. When I'm eating stuff, I don't know. I, You would think I'm a dainty little lady. You would think I would be a little bit more careful and not wind up spilling things all over myself. But for two, I'm also wearing gray slacks right now, which that's out of control. I can't believe I'm, I, like it makes me nervous. What was I thinking today? Eating in the car and packing broccoli. I'm wearing the wrong clothes and I packed the wrong food. But I mentioned that I, you guys know, I lost quite a bit of weight and um, I own like two pairs of pants that are not black. I don't own a lot of pants to begin with because I hate buying pants to begin with. But um, it is a rare day that you will see me. I forgot my gloss. It is a rare day that you will see me not in black pants because no matter what, I still look in the mirror and I see a butt that requires black pants. <laughs> Actually like a butt, hips and thighs situation. Like that trifecta needs to be contained within black clothing of some kind. I don't know. I think you, I don't know, it's it's hard for you to mentally change your perspective on what you look like. And um, yeah, it's a, it's, I don't know, it's a tough thing for me. I've had my weight gone for five years now that has not inspired or compelled me to go to the store and purchase a variety of different colors of pants. So the fact that I'm in gray today, never mind the fact that I'm afraid of spilling something, but the fact that I'm in gray it's like nobody would recognize me. So right now I've got on, oh, which I'm gonna talk about in my favorites. Right now I've got on a liquid lipstick that I'm living for. And I'm gonna to top it off with, this is the Revlon HG gel um, kind of lipstick pens. I love these. They also smell really good. So I always like to top off any liquid lipstick, no matter which one it is, with something of a moisturizing lip product, whether it be a lipstick or something like this, which is kind of like a creamy lipstick. It's not really a gloss, but something always has to, something always has to be moisturizing right there. I'll also use by Fresh, um, where is it? Let me see. I also use by Fresh, um, just the, the plain sugar, um, kind of clear, nice lip balm that smells awesome. Um, so it just depends on whatever I've got on hand. And so I'm using that. And the last thing that I do, so basically I eat lunch, I touch up my makeup because it's always a disaster, and I carry two, on Thursdays in particular, I carry two thermoses of coffee. This one is by Thermos. 
I think I'm gonna talk about this in my favorites. I don't think I've talked about it yet. And this one I think is by Thermos, but I got it from Starbucks, if you can see the emblem on the top. These guys will keep your liquids, whether it be hot or cold. I mean, I always use them for hot. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna do this? Because I'm afraid to spill. Um, these guys will keep your coffee, like you can go 24 hours and you will still have very warm coffee. I mean, obviously it won't be 100% exactly. Um, I'm gonna have to do everything over here. 100% so I don't drip on my pants. It won't be 100% exactly um, as hot as it was out of the pot, but I like a fresh cup of coffee. Like, I'm not like fresh hot. I'm like that annoying customer in a restaurant, and I'm like, yeah, can I get some regular coffee? Can you brew it now? Can you brew me a pot now? Like, if it sits there for more than like 10 minutes, maybe? 15 minutes? It's just not the same. Coffee just has to be super uber fresh and hot. So anyway, so I pack two coffees because not that I can't go in someplace. Do you remember when I lost my fork? I was like, well, I could go into Panera and get a fork and get a coffee, but I wasn't interested in actually getting a coffee because um, I like almond milk in my coffee and I don't carry that with me because I don't have a little insulated container that's small enough in order to do that. And so I basically refill from this guy who is not drink friendly and I pour into this guy. So um, this guy just pulled up next to me right now and he's completely staring at me because it looks like I'm just talking to the windshield. I'm gonna pretend that I don't see that and I'm just gonna keep going on with my life. Um, but that's ridiculously weird, that feeling. Anyway, so I don't typically buy coffee on the road. I typically pack a gallon with me because my body is fueled by coffee all day. But I typically pack a whole bunch with me. Um, because I like my coffee a certain way. I love unsweetened vanilla almond, almond milk. I get it from Costco. It's organic and it's fabulous. And I guess I could get another thermos though and fill that with almond milk. That's a little excessive, don't you think? That's a little bit too type A personality maybe. I'm okay with it. The guy next to me already thinks I'm crazy because it looks like I'm talking to myself. Also, why not be type A? Why not be like type A plus? There you go. I could be type A plus. I'm going to be late for work. Thanks for staying tuned and thanks for letting me know you enjoy. Have a good rest of the day. I got to get to work. Okay, first of all, you guys, I am wearing purple lipstick right now. And I have to tell you, it's a little bit unnerving. Um, when I did that review on, I think I just got lipstick on my teeth. Okay, no, we're good. When I did that review on the um, L'Oreal Infallible paints collection. I was talking about how um, I had picked up some of these um, what they called lip paints and the one I had picked up was a very nice neutral looking um, kind of blushy sort of nude and I was like oh my gosh and they had some purples I'm not really sure I really like the lip paints I'm gonna go back and get some more I may or may not get the purple and holy cow like a whole bunch of you were like go get the purple you need the purple I got the purple and I'm not sure it's definitely unlike any other color I probably own in my collection all at one time. Now these lip paints are very, they're very glossy and they're very kind of lacquer-like. And so I'm also afraid this purple's like gonna wind up like on my cheek or something, like if my hair like blows and pulls it away. So maybe, um, maybe I would blot. But actually, kind of the more I'm looking at it, the more, I don't know, I'm kind of liking it. I can't believe you guys told me to get the purple and I can't believe that I like it. So what I have, what I wanna show you right now is I kind of just have like a mishmash, a mish, mishmash, mishmash, a mess of a haul that I've kind of done just like so randomly. So nothing that was really big enough to make a video with the exception of one or two things. But I just kind of wanted to show you just kind of some of the things I've picked up, some of the videos that I'm planning on um, doing in the very near future, give you a sense of what's coming, um, and then just make a couple of comments. So I'm surrounded by a whole bunch of stuff right now, and so let me show you what I got. So I got some um, new moisturizers. This is definitely coming into a video. This is upside down. This is by Carez. This is their Greek yogurt facial moisturizer. It's kind of like their little trial size, their travel size. And I also got by Belief, 
um, what they're calling the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. And so I definitely have a video coming on some of my favorite nighttime moisturizers. So I'll definitely show you that. I picked up by CeraVe, um, the eye repair cream. What's hilarious is that I was talking, I think in my empties video, about how I was kind of in the market for a new eye cream, and I had just picked this up, and then a bunch of you kind of recommended that I should try this one. I was like, oh my gosh, we are totally on the same page because I just picked that up. Um, I did, also in that empties video, I was talking about how I was using some of the micellar um, what I thought were my cellar wipes by Simple, um, and what I was actually using was just makeup remover wipes. So I picked up the actual my cellar wipes by Simple because I decided. I think at that point I said I I didn't care because they were a little bit more expensive. But I was like, you know what? I really I just want to try it. They're awesome for travel if they wind up working out, and so I'm hoping that the convenience factor will be a good thing. Um, I picked up a refill on one of my favorite perfumes. I don't have a large perfume collection because perfume goes bad and I don't believe in owning so much at one time, but I'm also very particular when it comes to perfume. So this is by Stella McCartney. This is the uh, fragrance Stella, um, and it's the one that comes in the purple and black bottle. This is the 3.4 ounce, and I just actually went through an entire 1.7 ounce, and so I really like it, and so I stepped up and got the big package. Um, I got some more, I think I told you guys, I needed to complete my Essie Gel Couture nail polish collection. I got Perfect Posture and Rock the Runway. And like I said, I am seriously now considering getting rid of every single other nail polish brand that I own because these are phenomenal. Um, I picked up by, I think this is Wet n Wild. Is this Wet n Wild? I can't tell, it doesn't say on it. Is this Wet n Wild? Yes, Wet n Wild. I got one of their liquid cat suit um, liquid lipsticks. This is a nudist peach and I haven't really worn it. I tried it on and then I, I changed it because I was doing something else. Um, but I'm interested to see how that winds up working out. I picked up some products by Catrice um, at Ulta. This is my second liquid metal shadow by them. I had picked up another one in a gorgeous gold, which makes a beautiful highlighter. Um, but then they were running um, buy two, get one free special. So this was the freebie that I picked up. This is um, called Nougat New Nougat It Right. I don't even understand what that means. Nougat it right. Whatever. It's this gorgeous. Hold on. Let me swatch it for you. It's this gorgeous like chocolate, like a chocolate bronze. I don't know. It's got just like a little tone to it. It's super pigmented and it was like $5. I don't know. Super like affordable, but a really nice quality um, shadow. So I'm definitely going to be playing with that. Also by Catrice, I had picked up one of their highlighting powders, which also seems to be pretty nice, nice and subtle. I'm putting together um, a video of really great highlighters for mature skin so that it doesn't wind up accenting fine lines and any kind of skin issues we may have. And so I'm testing this one out to see if that makes the cut. And then Catrice also has this um, matte sun bronzer. And so I definitely wanted to give that a shot as well. I think all of these cost me like $12 for all three of these items. So that's definitely a score at Ulta. I had no idea that Catrice was as good a brand as they appear. Um, I picked up a couple things. I got two Anastasia... Anastasia shadows. This is Fawn. Um, this is a really great crease color. Really like complements really any collection. This one here is called Pink Champagne. Pink Champagne has been completely unavailable. It's like, it's a pink based kind of silver reflect sort of shadow. It's, oh, it's actually what I'm wearing today when I was showing you my purple lipstick. Um, it's been completely unavailable, but Ulta recently got it back in stock again. And so I grabbed it. I think it was Kristen Game who was talking about, I think it was her who said that she only had one of the Anastasia shadows. It was this one and it was fabulous. And I'm like, well, if that's the only one you have, I have to go get it. And I think she posted that video like months ago. Like I have been stalking this shadow. And so I am very excited to finally own it. I also got by Viseart, they have this um, kind of 
petite pro palette, like a palette to go. And so, hold on, let me get this open. So I have also, and I reviewed, and I think I did a tutorial on the Theory Minx 2 Viseart palette. And this is now this kind of like pro to go palette that they've come out with. I just saw it released on Sephora. And um, it looks pretty similar to the Theory one. It's got two additional shadows. And um, I just love Viseart, and I I can't quite I can't like suck it up to buy one of the really big ones. I also haven't really heard like phenomenal view reviews on the big ones, um, maybe because the cost like has something to do with it. But I was really excited again when I get to experience kind of a smaller selection of Viseart without having to invest a ton of money. If you can see my hand over here with the shadow swatch, it looks like that's like I have like a hairy hand. Like I'm looking at it in the corner of my eye, I'm like, why does it look like I have so much hair on my hand? No, it's just the swatch of the Catrice shadow. <laughs> oh my gosh. I also got another highlighter. I'm like so into highlighters right now, which is like the complete opposite of who I have ever been before. Anyway, Wet n Wild came out with some new highlighters and I got the one that's called um, The Sweetest Bling. There was an alternate one which I think was very icy and again, like a white icy one that does not compliment me, but this one's kind of like the rosy gold and in fact, it's like rosy and then gold. So I don't know, we'll see how that plays out on my brush, but I'm definitely curious to give that a shot as well and we'll see if it winds up making it into a favorite. So anyway, that's just some of the stuff that I've picked up as of late. Um, not really kind of like a major haul, but definitely um, some of those products that are definitely going to be making some appearances in some videos in the near future. Oh wait, I got one more collection of things, which is definitely going to be in a video. Hold please. I picked up an entire collection of beauty related products from Trader Joe's. This is their like super like reviewed body butter. This is an SPF that's got some um, bonus ingredients in it. This is a micellar cleansing wipe. Oh my goodness. And coincidentally, I'm curious to see how these two are going to compare to each other. I also got a facial cleansing oil and I think it's jojoba oil. I like to say jojoba oil. That's the jojoba oil. Um, and it's got some, the, the stuff that I've learned about jojoba oil is actually pretty interesting and so I am definitely doing a review of all of these products from Trader Joe's because I never really I mean I knew Trader Joe's had stuff but I never really was all that invested in kind of finding out but it was really nicely priced and I have a ton I have a crap ton of things to say about it so I'm pretty excited with some of the things that I have coming down the tube does it come down the tube or does it come down the tunnel Coming up, I have some really great videos that I've been planning. Um, but of course, always, I am open to your suggestions. And I've noticed um, quite a few suggestions over the last couple of videos that I've filmed. And so I'm definitely, I've been taking notes and I'm definitely working on some of those too. So I don't know, hopefully um, that intrigues you and you're interested in coming along for the ride. I am wondering, no, nope, still no lipstick on my teeth. So this is actually kind of a score. I think I'm going to leave this purple lipstick on because gotta say, I don't think I've ever really done purple lipstick before and I'm feeling quite powerful right now. <laughs> it's almost like the similar effect you get like when you've got a red lip on, but I feel like my purple lip is a bit edgier. I'm just gonna go with that. And if I've got attitude that goes along with it, then so be it. So I am going to call it a day on this blog or actually a week. I'm going to call it a week on this blog because I know that tomorrow um, really will not be very exciting. I've just got some housework that I need to do and so you don't need to see that. And so I'll probably have some fun taking a break and actually editing this vlog. So thanks again for joining me. I hope you had a really good time and I hope that you found things entertaining or at least the opportunity to laugh at me because it's really okay to laugh at me because if you're laughing every day, then you're alive and life is good. So have a really good rest of the day. I look forward to seeing you next time. In the meantime, thanks.